Smash Ultimate is finally here, and with it comes exciting brawl action with tons of characters. Smash is a game in which you can play as up to 74 different playable characters like Luigi, Mario, Bowser, and even characters that aren't from the Nintendo universe like Bayonetta or Snake, Mega Man, and then battle them out. It's the ultimate gaming crossover featuring characters from multiple genres and publishers and having them fight. This time around Nintendo has gone all out on content. I have to praise them for that because there is so much to do in this game. Besides the 74 different characters you can play, you've got a ton of different modes to play. The main story mode is called World of Light. You play as Kirby after every other fighter is defeated and set out on a world map to free the imprisoned fighters. As you play, you'll unlock new fighters and characters and even skill points that can be used to upgrade bonuses like plus to regular damage. And you also gain spirits which act kind of like pets or Pokemon in a way. They basically provide certain bonuses to your character to combat. You can even help out on the map by like repairing different objects or moving certain things out of the way. Overall, it's a clever mode with a lot of interesting and unique challenges and unique enemies that you won't really find in any other mode in the game. It's fairly well done. Of course, traditional Smash modes, whether they be 1v1, 4-player FFA, 2v2, or even tournaments are available. There's a ton of customization options for choosing what items are available, and if you do or do not want hazards during gameplay, the stages are all decently well varied as well. So if you're more into that chaotic nature with stages that just fly around and have hazard fireballs and things that are going all over the place, then you can do that. Or if you're into a more competitive experience, you can play the more competitive stages. Classic is also a new mode with a special route for each character. You fight a gauntlet of platforming sections and several fights against different characters. Each classic run is its own unique boss fight as well, and I really appreciated the careful attention to detail that Nintendo put into this mode to try and make each experience feel different and unique. Now this may be a benefit or a detriment depending how you look at it and how you like progression systems, but each character basically has to be unlocked in the game. You can do it in any mode, which is great. You don't have to play through the World of Light story mode. You can just do Smash Battles, or you can do Classic, or whatever the heck you want to do to unlock the characters, but each character does have to be unlocked. You start out with seven characters at the beginning of the game, and this can be a little bit frustrating because they are kind of generic, boring ones, and so if you like some other interesting ones that don't unlock for a while, you might have to grind for a really long time. And it does take a fairly long time with 74 different characters to unlock. Now as far as the gameplay goes, it is incredibly fun. I had an absolute blast playing all the different characters, both solo and playing online with different characters and experimenting with them. Some of the characters are unfortunately a little bit better than others, so the balance isn't the greatest, but I do hope that over time Nintendo will improve this because the game itself is just so much damn fun. There's so many characters to play, so many stages, so many modes. It's just an absolute blast if you're really into that kind of just blast fighting nature. Now multiplayer is unfortunately in traditional Nintendo fashion an absolute disaster. It just doesn't make any sense at all how they can't get their head wrapped around this stuff. Nintendo did not bring 4 Glory back from Smash 4, which was the competitive matchmaking in that game. So there's no competitive or casual modes. Instead, everyone is just dumped into a regular matchmaking queue. You can specify to say, hey, I want to play 1v1 over 4-player FFA or 2v2, but the game doesn't even care at all. It'll throw you into a 4-player FFA if you choose 1v1, and even if you choose specific rules, like say I want to play 3-stock 7-minute with no items competitive, but another guy plays 3-stock 7-minute 1v1, I can be thrown into his game that has items enabled versus mine that doesn't. So nobody is really satisfied with this system because casuals get thrown into competitive games and competitive players get thrown into casual games. It just doesn't make any sense at all. And I don't understand how Nintendo cannot get their head wrapped around this stuff. And worst of all, there's no friends list or messaging options or invite options. So when you use Battle Arena, which is to create custom games, you can't just easily invite friends in or anything like that. Now, I still did have an absolute blast playing with friends, and when the game worked, it was fun, but half the time, the online just doesn't even work. And worst of all, the online is incredibly laggy, especially in four-player FFA. I don't know if it's due to poor netcode or the fact that the game does not take ping into account when pairing you against somebody. Either way, it leaves an incredibly frustrating experience as matches grind to an absolute halt with lag, and every other game seems to have this covered and doesn't seem to have this problem. I don't know why Nintendo keeps screwing this up. Overall, I do like Smash Ultimate a lot. The graphics are fantastic, the characters are varied and well designed, it's a lot of fun when everything is working, but for me, multiplayer is very important, and Nintendo continues to drop the ball on this, which should be such a core feature, especially in the main competitive game of the Nintendo ecosystem. I don't understand how they keep screwing this up, and as a result, I'm giving Smash Ultimate an 8 out of 10. This game should easily be a 9 out of 10 because it has just an insane amount of content and fun characters and great gameplay, but it lacks so many basic features of competitors, I just can't do it. 
If you're into the single player or plan to play local multiplayer, then none of this matters at all and you should pick this game up instantly. But if multiplayer is important to you, you might want to consider whether or not you're going to be okay with dealing with the frustration of the lag, the bad matchmaking, the lack of a competitive ranking system and all that, because all those things are just so core to a competitive game like this, and yet Nintendo fails to add these. So unfortunately, this game gets its 8 out of 10.